Close your eyes. Try to be sensitive to your breath. Notice when it's coming in. Notice when it's going out. Notice where you feel the breathing process in the body. Let your attention settle there. And then watch it for a while to see how comfortable it is. You can try long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light. Experiment for a while to see what kind of breathing feels good for the body right now. Because the breath is like free medicine. When the body is tired, you can breathe in a way to get over the tiredness. When it's overexcited, you can breathe in a way to calm it down. So try to take advantage of this free medicine that you've got here. We all know, all know the basic principle that true happiness is to be found inside. When we're meditating, we're going about it systematically. We start by getting the breath on our side. Because when you're with the breath, you know you're with the present moment. There's no past breath you can watch, no future breath you can watch. Just the breath right here, right now. And from that vantage point, then you can watch your mind. Something comes into the mind, for the time being, just let it go, whatever it is. You're trying to establish the mind in one spot. They give it a good, solid foundation here inside. Because if you want it to happiness, it has to be solidly based. It can't be based just on a wish. It has to be based on an understanding of cause and effect. What causes in the mind lead to true happiness, and which ones lead in another direction. You want to be able to watch that for yourself. So take the breath as your vantage point. And take this opportunity to look inside. We come now to a place like this for physical seclusion. To get away from all the other people who have their issues and for which we're responsible. To give the mind some time to be by itself so it can watch itself without interference. And when you learn the basic principles, then you can take these principles and apply them anywhere, even where there's not much physical seclusion. You can still, still create a quiet spot inside where you're at ease with your breath. The breath feels good. The mind is cheerful, happy to be here. Because you're taking advantages of the potentials that are here right now, the potentials in the body for a sense of well-being, and the potentials in the mind. As you stay with the breath, you develop qualities like mindfulness, alertness, a sensitivity to what's going on, and a desire to do this well, all of which are good qualities to have in any pursuit, in any project that you may have. So you're developing good potentials in the body, good potentials in the mind. And then begin to realize that the potential for true happiness really does lie right here. The reason we go looking outside is because we haven't developed our own potentials. It's like having a piece of land that you haven't cultivated, and you go trying to plant crops in somebody else's land. Of course, it's going to be trouble. But here it is, your own land. You can plant whatever you want. So you plant good things, things that are good to eat, trees that provide good shade. So simply being here in the present moment is a good place to be. This is a skill that's always useful, but it's particularly useful as you get older, as illness comes, as death approaches. You want to be comfortable with the present moment, wherever you are, whatever the circumstances, so that you don't lose that foundation for a happiness that comes from within. So try to cultivate this foundation every day, every day. It's here. It's offered freely. When you breathe in, breathe out, there's nobody taking, putting a meter on your breath yet. So breathe in whatever way, way, whatever way you find feels good, feels right for the body right now, feels right for the mind right now. And strengthen the mind by being mindful, keeping the breath in mind and being alert, watching what's going on. That way these potentials become a reality, and our desire for true happiness yields a happiness that's solidly based.